So, good hand. Which has only one player. Yes, one player. Basically, you're some bloke on a motorbike. Who has to go around and not crash into Mappy. Or something. Yeah, now, in the original game, uh, you were supposed to... No. You were supposed to drive over the road and you would sort of paint it or something. But in this version, the road never changes colour when you drive over it, which basically means that uh, you cannot tell if you've painted over the road or not, which makes it damn near impossible to make it past the first level. Great, and a heart I can't get because the stupid map is getting in the way. And now I can't jump because you have to turn around before you can jump for some crazy reason. Well, there's one. Uh, you have to collect three hearts to warp, I think. Because if you collect so many hearts or whatever, uh, it lets you warp to the next level. Now in the original game there were balloons, I think. And the weird looking mutant spider things. In the original game they were police cars. And the mappies were cats. Yes, cat. Seems very ironic that a cat would turn into a mouse, but whatever. And there's also the oil cans, which looked different in the original game, as you would probably expect. And if we collect one more heart, I should be able to go to the next level. Because uh, you can warp levels in this game, thankfully, which means, I won't, which means that I might not be stuck on this one. Provided I can find another heart to crash into. Yep, driving around... Collecting hearts and stuff. Yeah, you can throw the oil. Oh no, you can throw oil cans at the mutant things to gain points and to smack into them. If you crash into them without throwing the cans at them, uh, you die and explode into some hearts or something. That's what the ex well, that's what the explosion was in the original. Not sure what it is in this version, and I can't be well. I'll probably end up seeing it anyway, but I can't be bothered to check now, because I'm trying to go for hearts. And I... Oh, bugger. Yeah, I can't remember what happens in this version when you crash into a car. I presume you keep the hearts when you die. At least I bloody really hope so. Because if you don't, then Lord knows how you get to the next level. So I can't even see what I'm painting. I can't even see if I'm painting the road or not. I'm actually trying to paint all the road as finicky in the original, so trying to do it here is almost impossible without hacking into it. And obviously, and obviously I can't hack into it because I'm playing it off a joypad. Alright, crash into a car, wonderful. Uh, well, I say car, it's a weird mutant thing in this version, but you get what I mean. I might as well just crash into cars while I'm waiting for another heart to appear. If another heart appears. Shouldn't go by expectation. I shouldn't go by a posh accent, which I don't actually have, but I do anyway. Yes. Driving. Driving along the road. And crashing into another mappy. Ugh. I swear that... The most annoying thing about the original game was the stupid cat that was going the way. And for whatever reason, they were always holding flags in the original, which I really don't understand. Because I'm not, I'm no uh, expert on cats, but I don't think they hold flags in the middle of a road that's suspended in the air. But whatever. Now, oh yeah, I should point out about the graphics. In the original game, this was supposed to be New York, I think. And in this game, it was changed to some generic city made up of blobs. that are supposed to be buildings. And the buildings all look the same. And yay, I can't even avoid that one. Yeah, that's the re that's the main reason I find the, the cats to be annoying as hell. Because you can't even dodge them half the time. The game just simply doesn't allow you to turn while jumping. I mean, if you're falling, then you can dodge them. But if you're jumping, then you can't. Which does, I really don't understand that. But yeah, half the time you're basically forced to lose. Because of it. And hearts are not sporting. This is not good. 
I just want to collect a heart to see what the next level's like, but the game's not letting me. Do I have to drive along the bottom or something for- oh, okay, apparently I do. And now I'm going to crash into a mappy, aren't I? Jump! Jump, Mr. Bikey! Whatever your name is. Yes! Level warp! Now we can see what the next level is like, I presume. Okay, so time for the next level, I suppose. Yay, a thousand points. Let's see what the next level's like. And it is... it is something. Okay, I'm still warping. I'm still warping. Okay, here we go. Uh, here's the... I could be wrong, but I think in the original levels it's like Holland or something. I think... <laughs> I think, judging by the fact that they haven't really bothered changing the graphics here, they weren't really anticipating on anyone actually finding the warp or completing the level. But yeah, uh, oh, okay, apparently I'll gain extra life. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it was game over. Uh, might as well play this briefly before I get game over. Yeah, this is... the well, the, gra the graphics are a bit glitchy here, but I think this was like the Holland level from the original game. Uh, the... The cars look more like deformed beetles. By which I mean the animal, not the car. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Well, at least you have to see the death animation. Yay, I turned to arrows or something. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Then again, the animation in the original didn't make any sense, so I shouldn't be complaining about that. Uh, again, referred to as Combatar. Or whatever. Yes, let's start. Okay, so this is, well, this is originally known as Ninja Kun. Ninja Kun himself has been replaced with some sort of robot. I'm not sure. The enemies are, well, the enemies which were originally enemy ninjas or whatever, are replaced with, um, lying gorilla hybrids or something. I don't know. I don't know. Gorillion? <laughs> Yes, let's just call them Gorillions, because I can. And because it sounds really stupid. Yep, there's one doing. I'm probably not going to complete this level, but let's try and... Oh, no, no, no. You're not defeating me today, Gorillion. Oh, I can't even pronounce it properly and I made it up. Oh, come on, I killed you first. I've only thought that even though they changed the characters, they still throw shurikens. So, yeah. Uh, robot Ninja from Shurikens. That's just a pretty awesome idea for a game, actually, a Robot Ninja. I wonder if it exists. Not that I know of. Were the characters in Kagi human? I can't remember. As in Kagi is in, like, uh, Blue Shadow or whatever it was called. Hey, level complete. I didn't even realise I completed the level. <laughs> yeah, that's how much attention I play. Well, that's how much attention I pay to actually playing these games. Okay, scene two of a really glitchy looking castle. Or is it an oil derrick in this version? I can't tell. Judging by the background graphics, it might be actually, because uh, a bunch of crates everywhere. Uh, well, actually, no, oil derricks don't tend to have crates, do they? Uh, game over. Wonderful. Yay, game over. Next game. Next page, even. Billiards! Great. Billy 2008. With really broken music. Let's set the friction to really low, just so ca just because I can. Let's set it to 15. Just because. Yes, yeah, so as you might notice, the music in this version absolutely sucks. It's like, yeah. It's like they didn't even care. And I'm pretty sure they didn't. Okay. Well, the one's right next to the hole, so I should be able to get that in. Yeah, like I said, the music sucks. Uh, this game is usually known as uh, Luna Pool or Luna Ball, which depending on which version you're playing. Uh, no, no, too much friction. <laughs> nah, it's more fun this way because the balls slide around a lot more. Yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, well, you don't get a row bonus or whatever it was called in side pocket so it's just pop I think 
in, I could be wrong, but I think in this game it really doesn't matter what order you pop the balls in. Because uh, in side pocket, uh, you would get a bonus depending on the order you put the balls in. Whereas in this version, it doesn't seem to make a difference from what I remember. Uh, the game itself is pretty good, but the music in this hack just sucks. Yeah, so probably on when they did that tune. Okay, oh, I think that might be a bit too light actually. Oh no, uh, <laughs> the physics kind of broke, and so did the music. And I'm on stage two. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah you might notice the little shot thing at the top right. Now, every time you miss a shot, that goes down by one. And, yeah, if that, if that goes down completely, you lose a life. So, in other words, if you miss three shots in a row, you lose a life, basically. So, in other words, don't miss. Or, well, actually, no. Actually, no, it's, if you don't put a ball in a turn, then you lose a shot thing. If you pot the ball when the shot thing's gone down, you it goes back up to four. And if you pot, I think it's something like if you pot so many balls in a row, then you get an extra life or something. I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> this is why I like the balls around the a lot. Yay, went in. Uh, I have. Holy hell, that was a lot of points. <laughs> okay, well, we've got. Well, so I pot the three. Uh, it's not go full power because I'll probably end up losing if I do. Uh, go in, go in! Yes! Level 2 complete! Hey, perfect! <laughs> yes, perfect with really terrible music. Even worse than the rest of the songs, I dare say. Granted, though, you can actually hear it because I was talking over it, but still. Okay, stage 3, let's go. Let me see how far I can get before losing a life. Probably about here, I imagine, because I do tend to lose quite a lot of lives on this stage. Okay, well, I've got the two ball in. Let's see if I can get the one ball. Uh, low power, please, because let's face it, anything more than. F oh, okay, I lost anyway. Uh, let's see what happens if I set it a bit lower. Okay, I completely fluffed up the shot. Yeah. I gotta say, when hearing the phrase planetary pool, I can't help but think of that episode of Red Dwarf where Lister plays snooker with a bunch of. uh. planets. Oh, bugger. <laughs> and that's me being an idiot. Okay, how have I still got five balls? Did they, did they add, like, extra lives or something to this version? Because I'm pretty sure I don't get this many in the original. Unless it was because I got perfect or something, I don't know. But yeah, I can't be bothered with this anymore.